Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. We're in statics and we're going to do problem 4.91, okay? It says, if the couple moment acting on the pi has a magnitude of 300 newtons per meter, determine the magnitude of my force act. Okay, so we got this pipe that is lying on this x-axis and we got these two branches, okay? And the forces are acting on these two branches. One is going up and then one is going down. So we have this couple force, okay? So we know that a moment in a 3D is going to be equal to a vector distance. So I always pick the distance between the two forces. So my force F of A, if we can label like that, and my F of B. So the distance is going to be between A and B. So the vector AB. And we're going to do the cross product between the vector AB and my vector force, okay? So if I want to find the vector distance AB, I first need to know where my point A is and where my point B is located, okay? So for my point A in the X direction, we have that it's 600 millimeters. So if I convert it to meter, it's 0 0.6 meters. In the Y direction, it's going into the negative and it's 0 0.15 and it's negative, forgot the negative, so negative 0 0.15 and actually it's in, it doesn't have a height, so it's 0 in my z direction, okay? This is in meters. For my point B, I have in the x direction 600 plus 200 over here, so that gives me 0 0.8 in meters. In the y direction, I will have 150 millimeters positive, so that gives me 0 0.15 positive, and I get 0 because it's also laying in the 0 altitude for my z directions, okay? Now, if I want to find my distance vector a, b, what I do is that I do b minus a. So if I do b minus a, I'll have 0 0.18 minus 0 0.6 not 18, 0 0.8 minus 0 0.6, that gives me 0 0.2 in the i direction. In that y direction, I'll get 0 0.15 minus minus 15. So that gives me positive 0 0.8 in the j direction. And then in the z direction, I got 0 minus 0 will give me always 0. So I'll find my distance vector AB, okay? So if we follow the equation, we know that the moment is going to be equal to the cross product of AB and my force F. So I have the I, J, and K direction. For my distance AB, so the first one I put on is going to be 0 0.2 in the A direction, 0 0.3 in the J direction, and 0 for my K direction. If we look at my force F, it's only acting on the Z plane. So I have zero in the Z direction, I'm sorry. So I have zero in the I direction, I got zero among in the J direction or Y direction, and I have my total magnitude F in the Z direction, okay? So if we do this, so we know that this is going to be equal to, so in order to do this, we will hide our column, and our row. And then after that, we're left with only 0 0.3, 0, 0, and F. So we're gonna do the cross multiplication and then we subtract from each other. So in this case, we're gonna do 0 0.3 multiplied by F. So I get 0 0.3 F minus 0 times 0 gives me 0. So I have, I don't have to subtract anything. And this is in the I direction because I'm hiding the column and the row of my i direction, okay? Now, we do minus, because we're going to do the j direction, and we hide the column and the row of my j. So, I am left with this, with this and this, and we cross multiply. So we do 0 0.2 multiplied by f, so we do 0 0.2 f minus, 
0 times 0 gives me 0, so I have to do nothing in there, and this is in the j direction, and we should do plus, and then if I had hide my k column and my k row, I will be left with 0 0.2 multiplied by 0, and 0 multiplied by 0 0.3, that gives me 0, okay? In the k direction. Now, if we do this, we basically said that my moment is going to be 0 0.3, 3f in the i direction minus 0.2f in the j direction. Okay? Now we know the magnitude of the moment, so the magnitude of the moment has to be equal to 300 newtons per meter. So 300 newtons per meter. Okay? Now, how do we find the magnitude? Well, we find the magnitude by applying Pythagorean theorem, and we know that the magnitude is also equal to the square root of my x component x squared, so 0.3f squared, plus my y component x squared, which is 0.2f squared, I don't put the negative sign because the square is going to cancel them out, okay? And since we don't have a k component, we're done. And we already know that this should be equal to our 300 newtons per meter, okay? So, if we square both sides, I will square my 300 squared. And on this case, my root cancel out. So, I'm going to have 0.3f squared plus 0.2f squared, okay? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to leave this 300 squared, so I don't use a lot of space, but I'm going to use these decimals, and I'm going, to multiple, I'm going to put the squared into the decimals and also to the fours, so I will have 0.09, F squared plus 0 0.04 F squared. Okay? I'm gonna finish the problem up here, so I'm gonna erase this. So I have, if I add 0 0.09 F squared plus 0 0.04 F squared, that will give me 0. Point 13 f squared, and that should be equal to 300 s squared, okay? And if I solve for f, s squared is going to be equal to 300 s squared divided by 0 0.13, okay? Now, and if I want to solve for f, not square, I will do the square root on the other side. And let's see what we get. So if we use our calculator, we're going to do the square root of a fraction with the numerator, which is 300 at square, divided by 0 0.13. And this gives me 482 units. Which is equal to 482 Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or any comments, just post it down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.